Hello everyone, I'm Amari and welcome back to Until Then. Things are getting really, really sweet in this game and I can see, you know, the characters have been developing. I'm still mad at Mark. He's still treating Kath like terribly. So hopefully he makes up for it here. So, let's go. Please return eating utensils, trays, and plates here. Hmm, she's not here yet. Let's get some food. Ah, let's see. Ah, the usual menudo that will go bad tomorrow. Hi, sir. Our delicious menudo will go bad tomorrow. <laughs> it's still fresh, though. So we're selling it at a discount. Why don't you get some merienda while it's still fresh? Merienda snack. Uh, how much? How much is it? Just half the original price. Tell me, how much though? Talk about a great deal. Um, that sounds cool. But can I get a free taste first? Gladly, sir. At a measly price of zero. You can have as much menudo as you want tomorrow! It's always those new hires. Okay, I'm done talking to those two. Hey, psst. Is that him? Really, bro? Wait, what? I just wanna be a potato! Aw, oh, feel you, girl. Dude, no, it's 2i plus 3. Huh, no. It's 3 plus 2i. The real part goes first, remember? But 2i just looks just as real to me. Why is it even imaginary? I don't get it. That's the point. Hey, dude. There you are. Come here. Oh! Hey, Mark. Sorry, man. She's right. The real part goes first. Oh, Look who's got the real answer now. Doesn't matter, dude. Just want to play ball after this shit. Come on, Mark. We know why you're here. Take your notebook out and... And what? Wait a second. Uh, I already finished that yesterday. I did my homework? No freaking way, whoa. Oh, Ryan. Don't you worry. I assure you he's still the airhead I know. Just with less air. Huh? Like a chip bag. <laughs> anyway, Mark. Did you find the answer to number five? Yeah. I think it's, uh... I know that off the top of my head. 5 plus 6i? You're... I... I can't believe it. How? Oh no. Look at him. Cool as a cucumber. All this... At this time of day. These change... Ahem. Excuse me, Ryan. If you weren't busy balling all day and actually attended class, this wouldn't come as a surprise. Ball is life, dude. That's what I get for bringing pride to our school. Less classes. Sure. So what exactly are you doing here? Oh my gosh. For reals? Right? How'd the new girl even find this guy? Now she won't, like, get to steal our boys for prom. Not that she'd have a chance, lol. God, these girls. I hate them, mean girls. Dude. It's cool, guys. Let's just ignore it. Because it's true, right? I mean, it must be. What? Ah. Uh, well, you know me. I'm quite the ladies' man. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, you're glowing. You're making more use of your brain. She's inspiring you, isn't she? She's an inspirational friend indeed. Is that why you're always at the piano club after class? I'm hard at work practicing, and really, she's just my mentor. Mentor, uh-huh. Mentor of, oh, would you shut up? Look, man. Imagine it's game seven of the finals. Seconds winding down. Balls in your hands. You're down two points. Do you go for the win? Or do you settle for the tie? 
Go for the win? What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> Shoot your shot, Ma Mark. Shoot your shot. All right now, Ryan. Enough with the metaphors. So, uh, if it isn't homework, what brings you here, man? I'm meeting with, uh, Luis. About Christmas party stuff. Oh, wait, I remember. I saw you with the new girl at the fair together. Alone together. Yeah, but I just bumped into her. And then I abandoned Kath. So much has, has happened since then. It's been a month. Oh, it's been a month. Hold on. I didn't see you with Kath. Didn't I see you with Kath that day? Oh, let's bring it up. Yeah, Brian, bring it up. Bring it up. Where'd you go? Brian, focus. I mean, we gotta pass this homework now. Yeah, yeah. Yeesh. No, Ryan, keep bring it up. Let's guilt. Let's get guilt mark into this. What's number five again? Five plus six I. Got it. Ryan, bro, ready to ball? Woo! You know I am. Off he goes. You didn't even ask for the solution. <laughs> you won't get three points for that. He's got varsity privileges. So he's not as stupid as you say after all. You know, I don't think high schoolers should be given a pass for being athletes. Like, they gotta do their... I mean, maybe in college. Uh, uh, I guess only if it, like, pays them. Aren't you gonna pass that too? Oh. I can take my time. Looking for something else? Louise said she'd be here by now. Christmas party stuff, huh? Yeah. But I think... I'm just gonna be the same... It's gonna be the same games as last year. Yeah, I sure hope so. Calamansi on a spoon is always a fun time. Yeah. Who'd want to change any of it? Not me. Really? Uh, are we still talking about games? Yeah. Hmm. She has one of those pens that you click and it's different colors. I know it. So you gotta dress for prom yet? Uh oh. Sure, it's like two months away. But our classmates are excited. Uh, got stuck on a problem? Mark, you're asking the wrong question. You should be asking if I have a girl date. That's not a problem. What do you mean? You still got Jag. Go on. I dare you. And what about you? Got a suit? Nope. I thought maybe you'd want to shop sometime. Oh, haha. <laughs> That's a generous offer. Sure, let's go sometime. But I meant... Have you asked her to prom? Oh, not yet. I mean, sh should I? Uh-huh. Of course. As expected of Mark. Uh, you think she'd say yes? Well, whatever you say or do... Insult incoming? Good luck. Oh, that face. You underestimate your friend. What? Hi, Press. Oh, hi, Catherine. Love the sound of that. Uh, hey. You finished your homework? I finished it yesterday. Oh. That's great, Mark. So, what's the big news? I'm making progress. I need to double check on what you saw. Didn't you take note of that? 
I did. But I need to verify again and again to leave no room for doubt. I see. I'm aware it's been almost a month, but whatever you end up remembering now, it'll be important. Where do I start? Wherever you... Looky, looky. Oh, looks juicy. These two girls, wherever you want. All right. When I took the elevator from the cafeteria, everyone just disappeared. I was hearing these strange sounds. Probably lightning. And what did you see? Uh, a lot of these actually. A nursery. I think there was a crib and toys around. And then, uh, there were clocks. There were clocks on the walls, like a hotel lobby. And then what happened? Hmm. Uh, vandalism. Vandalism up here. Suddenly everything was vandalized. Hmm, all right. And it was, I was, I swear, like, if her boyfriend were my boyfriend, I wouldn't even think about talking to, like, other guys. Well, well. It seems Miss Perfect isn't so perfect after all. I don't even know that guy. Those two girls. Hey, don't mind them. Just your typical school gossips. No, focus, Mark. I need this observation of your memories to be intact. Are you sure you don't want to talk elsewhere? Intact. Okay. I really found it weird when it was only the elevator not changing much. But then... But then, yeah. It broke at one point. Do you still remember how long that took? I don't know. Less than ten minutes. Could have gone on for hours, but it might have also been just minutes. So you're sure that, that your perception of time was... Oh, Eve, he even wanted to take it elsewhere. Oh my god, I wonder what dear Mike would say. Hey, don't mind. Shh. I think she can hear us. So what? She was better off as a nerdy teacher's pet than cheating on her boyfriend with some loser. Slap them. Slap the two bitches. Girl, no. Too far. Lol, you would have, like, said the same if he, she weren't around. Your mouths are better off shut. Deserve whatever Prince Charming. I hate those two. Oh. Girls are so catty. Hey, I... Is she okay? Maybe she broke up with her boyfriend. Hey... Luis? Sorry. I heard what you said back there. Thank you, Mark. You didn't have to. Don't mention it. Do you know them? What's their problem, anyway? No, I don't know them. Please. Let me collect my thoughts for a minute. And then we'll continue. Oh! Sure. Okay. I'll just stand here. Maybe I can find something that'll cheer up around here. Awesome. Cute. I don't think this will cheer her up, but... So this is yours? Oh yeah. I leave it here sometimes since no one else comes in. Didn't know you were a sticker girl. <laughs> There's Sophia's. She insisted. Of course she did. It looks really nice. It suits you too. Yeah, I think it does too. I bet those are all her trophies. You won some of those, right? 
What's that? Those trophies. Oh, yeah. Science quiz bees. As expected of our president. Planning on bringing home the bacon again this year. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I guess. It's yours for sure. Thanks. Meanwhile, all I have are in-game trophies, which are cool. Chemistry, Sky Atlas. Oh, that's sweet of her. Didn't think she'd keep pictures. Interesting, we studied the ones on the left. What are these on the right, though? Hey, I'm just curious. Yes? What are these arrows and squiggles? <laughs> oh, that's mine. I'm making sure to erase that later. Okay. I mean, she's like doing complicated science by herself. Not the answer I was looking for, but I don't know if I should push her for it right now. Hey, a stonk sticker. A stonker? This doesn't look quite like homework. Impossible. Nope. Maybe. What's with these arrows and squiggles? Oh, that's mine. Don't touch it. What are these anyway? It's hard to explain. It's college level math. Oh my god. Okay. Wow, college math. Dang, you're really something. How do you know all of this? Students here wish they had the same level of smarts. That's why we look up to you. You're like the perfect student. A teacher's pet, you mean? What? Sorry. Uh, how long did you experience those visions again? Uh, unclear. I told you. My perception of time seemed faulty. Okay, okay. Give me one more minute. You sure you're okay? Yeah, just... just give me a minute. Okay, let's look at other things. Get to la enter a lab only a few times. But if you're a trusted and respectable class president, you get access to most of the school. The world's your oyster. You come here a lot, right? Uh, yeah. I prefer this to the library. Especially if I need to be alone and clear my mind. It's much more peaceful here, after all, less people. Library is no good. Yeah, peaceful, that's good. I'm glad she feels at home around here. I'm not sure if I'm doing a go good job of cheering her up, though. Yeah, it's like some of this dialogue, like, okay, now it's gonna take it too far if I have to talk more. That's a big brain territory. There's nothing else, though. Yeah. Events. Congrats, Luis. Periodic table of elements. She's really impressive. Lab safety. I guess she already knows all this. There's nothing else. I wonder when we'll actually use this. The thing's just good for pictures of, on the school socials. But Louise knows about it though. Bet Louise. Hey, does this thing really work? The fume hood? Sort of. Uh, it drains the toxicities out. But I can't do that. It can do that, qu uh, that quite well. Old equipment? Possibly, even though they can still clean it. Hmm, for publicity, of course. Is there nothing else? Well, I guess she's not being cheered up today. I was... Oh, there we go. I thought I had it, but... But? But since your perception of time was compromised, which is one detail I've overlooked, I think it's very likely that... It was a prolonged hallucination. But why? As much as I hate to say this, there's simply no other reasonable explanation. I've gone through almost everything, and the only logical conclusion is... 
still is in the mind. Uh, what about those online stories? If you had this bizarre experience, you'd likely flock to others who experienced the same. Think of super survivors ship. But what was that new hypothesis you were talking about? It's it's no use now. It's crazy anyway. I want to hear it. It's just that the only other strange unexplained event never them her mind. It sounds crazy even to me. What does? Mark, forget it. It's beyond logic. And I fear that people will think we're out of our minds? Who cares? I care. And that's why I don't want to go in that direction. Are you sure? Yes. Just tell me what it is. Mark, there's no point if it makes no sense. And that means it's wrong. But what if you're right? What if I'm not? That's... that's okay. No, it's not that simple. Insist. Why not? It just isn't. Sorry. Again. No, no, it's my bad. I didn't mean to... It's okay. So you're sure, right? It's all in our heads then. There's no other way around it. We can keep refuting it, but we'll just go around in circles. I'm afraid that's all I have. Nothing else makes sense. It's got to be the only sane answer. Okay. Thank you so much, Louise. I'm sorry, Mark. I tried. Don't apologize. I mean it. I, I didn't mean to disappoint. I can keep looking into it if you want. Hey, there's no need. We'll just go back to square one, right? You know about this more than I do, after all. Mark, I'm not... It's not like... No, really. I should be the one saying sorry, you know. For pushing you. I just wanted to believe. But if... It's a product of a troubled mind, then it is what it is. I really am sorry, Mark. Thank you. Louise, really. For researching all this. For making time. I know you must be busy. Uh, of course. You too. You came from Piano Club, right? Yeah. <laughs> I've been working real hard. Gotta say my mentor is really tough and... Uh-oh. Oh, it's happening again. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Damn, how could I forget? I forgot to tell you one thing. Go ahead. You know Nicole, right? My mentor? Yes. When I saw her for the first time, I felt like... Like you've known her before? Exactly. How did you know? No, it can't be. What? It's insane, but it might be right after all. About your new theory? If you feel like... Like you remember her. Then it must be... Ugh, but it's... Crazy? Indeed. It's crazy, but... It might be right? Tell me. Out with it, it might be right. So what now? Girl! Ooh. You know it, aren't we gonna- going in the afternoon though? It pays to be prepared, young man. I'll meet you at the mall at 4 p.m. So it's not too hot out. Yes, ma'am. I won't be late. That's for sure. See ya. Just got here. You?
Look at the Christmas tree in front of Thriftita. Is that what it said? Right, Thriftita. Oh, it is. That must be over there to the right. If I'm right, to the right, to the right. Groovy. No, I don't feel like this is the right way. Oh, oh, my left is right. Now, I, okay. Damn it. I still get my rights and lefts wrong. My right, his left. Uh, my left, his right. Cole, pick Cole. Remember, Han, you're buying for three now. Three pizzas. Suplada. <laughs> Suplada. Barbero. Angry me. You just said you want. Should I get a mad burger? Thriftita. Hey. Oh, look who isn't late. I told you so. Good. Because it should be a gold mine in there. Does that mean you've already found yourself an outfit? Nope, but it looks promising from here. Let's get to it. I wonder if Nicole would like any of these. Kathy did say I should ask her to prom. Are we going to try stuff on? Oh. Rad. Oh, yeah. I'm going to dress up as a detective from Disco Elysium. It's hideous. I love it. I'll be the hottest 70s time traveler around. Disco. Wrong era, unfortunately. Try something a little more ancient Greek. I don't suppose they sell any togas around here. You never know. Though maybe we should just show up in blankets and call it a day. I think you could pull it off. I'll have you know I make the most gorgeous blanket burrito. Agree. I don't doubt it. You better not. There's nothing. I'm browsing. I'm browsing and shopping, and I do not enjoy shopping. What am I doing? What am I doing? I'm just going round and round in circles. Oh, I guess to, until Kathy's picked something. What do you think? Very nice. Even you might actually look like a goddess in that. Wow. A rare compliment. Almost. I'll go try it on. Go do that while I aimlessly walk around the store like I don't belong here. Oh. Hmm, this could work. I guess I'll go try it on. Oh my gosh, I can't get this wrong. Oh wow, like the most basic shirt. Hell yeah. I'm just looking for something to wear for prom. I know, I know. I'm not... I won't be home too late, I promise. Just let me... Please, we're... Yes, I know the budget. I know. You look like Jesus. Hmm. You may be right. I wasn't exact. He wasn't exactly from ancient Greece. Hey, is everything okay? Kath, don't need to go home yet, do you? Nope. We've still got time. But wait. Are you really going as Jesus? You're right. She might regret saying yes to this. What about you? Didn't like the dress? Mm, it was gorgeous, but... Maybe something long-sleeved. Alright. Guess we better keep looking. Okay, keep looking. Keep looking. Keep looking. 
Keep looking. Oh, here we go. Any luck over here? Only for that time traveler from the 70s. You could be the god of time. I don't think he particularly enjoyed the disco area. Well, suit yourself. Say, what do you think of this one? Very Persephone of you? Yeah. Would make for an awesome queen of the underworld. Ah yes, Kathy, queen of hell. Are you getting it? Hmm, this dress is really nice, but maybe a bit too short for me. Well, suit yourself too. This is a dress. <laughs> this is a dress. Alright, here we go wandering again. Wander, wander. I like how I can hear... I can hear Filipino in the background. It's not distracting. But if you listen carefully, you can, you can hear it. Hey. Uh. Are you having a better time than me? Lots of pretty dresses around here, but... I don't know, man. I can't seem to find one that works. And you? Nothing's caught your eye at all? I'm not sure I'm really feeling this Greek thing. Yeah, I don't think they had a god of stupid. <laughs> they probably did, actually. Then you can just go as yourself. You wound me. <laughs> come on. Let's keep looking. Oh, come on, just find something, guys. It, there's not that many options in here. Come on. Come on, quickly. Quickly with urgency. With urgency. Okay, some parts of this game, like this, like stuff like this, it just takes utterly too long. And it adds too much, too much drag. Like the story is great, loving the characters, and then there's just some things. And it, it's, it's here and there, so it's like I could feel it sometimes. is getting draggy. Come on. Come on. Do something with what you're holding. No, it can't be. It's perfect. But it's just a suit. It isn't just any suit. Look. Greek ink. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Yokona! What is that? I think I found the one cat. This is the cheat of all cheats. Isn't it perfect? You know what? I suppose it is. I did tell you to go as yourself after all. But I wonder if, if Nicole would like this. Doesn't matter, just wear what you want. Mm, what about you? Any luck yet? Ugh. Most of the dresses aren't long sleeve. Does it have to be? I just uh, want to be one of those goddesses. A goddess with billowing gorgeous sleeves. So powerful, you know? Right. Let's keep looking then. Oh my god, please! Just uh, anything! Anything, Kathy! Anything! You will look fantastic in anything. Maybe it's just because I hate shopping. I think we've exhausted all they have to offer. Ugh, this is harder than I thought. Actually, I like the one of the I liked one of the suits. But eh, maybe next time. Don't tell me it's what I think it is. Come on, let's look elsewhere. My dress has got to be here somewhere. Oh come on, let's not shop anymore. I hate shopping in real life and then I guess like shopping. Can we shop for a gear instead, like adventuring gear? Then I'd be into it. If there were like stats on the thing, then sure, I'll, I'll be invested. Hmm. Do you want to go in? Let's go into Soplada. I think that's a little bit over budget. Honestly, I think it's a, 
lot bit over budget, probably. Ah, this is impossible. Check out other stores. Maybe there are other stores around. It's probably just an expensive, it just as expensive though. We can go back to Thrifta, Thriftita. The clothes aren't gonna magically be different when we get there. Come on, I'm not giving up yet. All right, we could wear pizza. Then we can eat it. Ooh, crafts. Our sales should be going up, ma'am. Okay, uh, maybe you can make a dress. A wonderful idea from the god of stupid. No, I was just thinking of learning how to, I don't know, scrapbook, make collages and stuff. Oh, what for? Just to pass the time. You know, pick up something new, have something to do. Plus, I can put all the photos Rydell took of us three. And if he'd let you cut up his photos, like, as if he'd let you cut up his photos. Oh. Remember when he lost it because we accidentally spilled some of his oh-so-precious coffee? How could I forget? He was so mad. I thought he'd never let us touch his stuff again. That's our resident hipster for you. Mm, I was pretty- it was pretty good coffee, though. You're right, though. I wouldn't want to mess with his photos. Not really much of an artist. Maybe something else. Like what? Let's walk around and see. Hey, let's stay on task here, guys. You have a prom to get to. Over there! Oh my gosh, she's skipping. How cute. Hey, it's, it's piano... piano people. Hello, piano people. Forgot your names already, except for Elise. Aha! Coming over to the dark side, are you? I knew spending all that time with the piano club would entice you. Nuh-uh. Piano's cool and all, but it's not really my type of instrument, you know? Uh, don't knock it till you try it. Well, I'm knocking it. Alright, fine. Annoying spam calls, am I right? Right, music, of course. Maybe I can get Nicole something to encourage her to audition day for audition day. Say, what do you think of this guitar? Do you think it'll suit me? Definitely not a new instrument, but maybe. New sheet music, new books for her compositions. Oh my god, Kathy asked you a question. Answer it. I wonder. Hey. Huh? Are you okay, man? You're kind of spacing out. Sorry, I just thinking. About her. What were we saying? Alright, Mr. Change the subject. I said check out this guitar. Maybe we can jam. So I'm the keyboardist and you're on the guitar? Hmm, why not? That'd actually be pretty cool. We could start a band. We put Rydell's obscure music taste to shame. We could form a cool trio. But first, we should have a strange yet charming band name. Hmm, think of Wyverns. Antarctic apes, sure. One trajectory. <laughs> Pencil heads. <laughs> Best friends forever. Rydell would hate us. He'd probably say we're sellouts. He'd take really cool photos of us, though. At our gigs. At our gigs in your room, you mean. He'd still make it look cool. Man, I haven't found anything yet. At least I found something, sort of. You're right. I don't know about the guitar, though. It's just not me, I guess. And we might all be a little too pre Might all be a little too pretentious, then? Why? What? What is- Huh? Yeah, what? I meant for prom- Oh, prom? Oh, right. Come on, then. Tech whiz. Why is everyone avoiding me? I just want to sell phones. No one wants a freaking phone right now, alright, buddy? Time Dome! It's an arcade. Uh, are we gonna play? Uh, don't we need tokens for this? Looks like it's free to play. For some reason. I guess we can give it a go. While no one's watching. boy. Is this with mouse? What? The first one- the first ones didn't count? 
Oh, the blue ones I can't. Oh. Oh. It's so lagged. The music is making me sleepy. Hey. No, don't hit the blue one, I think. <laughs> Damn it. What? At what point is that not a hit? This music is lulling me to sleep. Shit. I still beat you at racing though. Yeah, you did. But I have whack-a-mole. Oh no. No way this place is shutting down. R.I.P. In peace. Rest in peace in peace? What? We used to have so much fun around here. At least I'll go down in... At least I'll go down in history as King of Gold Rush. You wish. What a bummer though. Yeah, I can't believe it. It's really gone. I guess people don't come here anymore. Why are we pausing? Goodbye, Arcade. You are a lot of fun. But I guess your time has come. R.I.P. R.I.P. Thank you for your service. You will be missed dearly. Oh, they're cute. Look, a new store. Flower power? Oh, no. Flower power. <laughs> Ta-da! What do you think? I don't see any dresses here. That can wait, man. Let's go in. Ugh, I just want to get these dresses, girl. I just want to get a prom outfit so we can stop chopping. I was thinking I'd check out some basic baking sets. Good idea. Hey, sounds like a good idea. You think? I'll check them out. You know, I'd be terrible to shop with because I'm so task-oriented. Like, when I'm like, I need a shirt. I go and I get a shirt. I don't go browsing around. That's it. Maybe something simple. Maybe she'd like some cookies. That's a simple gift, right? Not too serious or anything. Hello! Would you like to buy some cookies? Uh, I think so. For a gift. Perfect. We've got heart-shaped cookies for that special someone. Nope. No, it's not like that. Got someone in mind, sir? I'm not sure. You're in luck, sir. You can never be unsure with any of our three offerings. Please have a closer look. We have your regular good old circle cookies. For your beloved, we have heart-shaped cookies. And for a limited time only, we're selling these cute smiley cookies. But I guarantee all of them are scrumptiously good. I like just the basic round ones, please. Hey, take your time, sir. Oh, I click it. This one. I just... The circles. They're perfect. Don't underestimate, uh, underestimate the humble circle. Yeah. These regular cookies are great for any occasion. That's pretty bland for a proposal. No, it's not. I would... I don't... I detest. I mean, it's the safest of the bunch, right? You couldn't go wrong with it, I guess. No, it's perfect. I'll take it. You don't need heart-shaped ones or ones with stupid smileys on it. Like, a good old cookie. That's where it is. Oh well, whatever. Let's go, go with that one. If she rejects you over a normal-ass cookie, then no. She likes these gimmicky things that are not as good. I'll take one box of regular cookies. Here you go, sir. Have a look first. What do you think? Uh, I like the packaging, I guess. Yeah, I'll take this one. Ooh, good idea. I'm getting a little hungry. Uh, uh, these are for... Nicole. Why? Be upfront with it. Yo, ho, ho, look at you. Is this for your promposal then? It's not that. Good for you, man. Didn't I tell you? You did know the answer after all. I called dibs for taste testing your cookies, though. Uh-huh, Mr. Changed the Subject. I promise I'll make you the best meteor cookie, me, meteor, mediocre cookies around. Excuse me, is this all you're getting? Yep. 
Let me ring you guys up. Are you getting to- are you two going to see the fireworks? 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 That's right. There's going to be a Christmas fireworks display. It's at the city plaza in about 30 minutes. You two could enjoy your cookies over there. Mark, a fireworks show! We have to see it, please. Please, 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 please. Uh, are you sure? You're not needed back at home yet? We stayed out later than we thought. Oh, you. Come on, it's fine. Unless you have a date. Hey, no I don't. It's settled then. It's like the stars align for this moment. You're, you're right. Yes. Come on, let's go find a good view. Hell yeah, fireworks. Let's get out of here. It's starting soon. We didn't even get... Ooh, could we go in the elevator? Oh, damn it. We didn't even get our dress for prom. What are we going to wear? Nothing? Oh my gosh, we spent all that time at the mall and didn't get our outfits. Man, look at that view. This is perfect. Nothing beats a good fireworks show. Yeah. Just forgetting your worries for a moment. Admiring the colors. Fleeting bursts of light in the dark. But somehow it's enough to make everything a little brighter. That was beautiful, man. Didn't know you had it in ya. Oh, shut up. Even Rydell would be impressed with that poetry. You started it. Pleading bursts of light and all that. Rydell. Yeah. He's doing great for himself. Uh, I'm happy for him, though. He's really thriving, huh? Wonder if they want to grow up as fast as we did. Man, taking it all for granted, huh? They should cherish, cherish it while it lasts. All the free time in the world. Time to play together. No worrying about big things. No worrying about what comes next. No, not worrying about failing art class. Not worrying about falling in love. Hey. What a year, huh? It's almost over and all sorts of crazy stuff happened. Rydell getting his big break. You and Nicole. The ruling, maybe? It hasn't been so bad, right? Just crazy. from all of this awkward, like, panning around to different views. Ah, uh, there you are. <laughs> Sorry, you were waiting... Were you waiting long? The twins' parents didn't stay with you? No, not long. She probably thought you were close by. Just next time? Ask her to stay with you, okay? A kid should never be without a caring grown-up around. But I'm a big boy now. I know, I know. But I love you and... I want you to be safe, okay? Okay, Mom. I love you too. I 
Andrew Portilio. Good PM. Are you Mark? I'm sorry for the abrupt message, but I saw you in Kathy's friends list. She hasn't been replying and we're worried something happened to her. Do you know where she is? We'll be glad to know if she's all right. Our mom's really worried. Thank you. Oh. Oh, Kath. Your brother's looking for you. What? Don't reply. What? Why not? He sounds worried about you and your mom too. I mean, I just don't want to go home yet. Maybe if we just let him know that you'll be back after the fireworks, just so they don't worry, you know? I don't know. But, right, I guess that sounds good. Reply. Besides, they might get mad if I don't tell them, right? Yeah, you're right. Just tell them we're safe, okay? Nothing good to worry about. Hey! Oh, hello, Andrew. Yeah, we're at the, the convenience store near the mall. We'll be... Oh, just waiting for the fireworks show, then we're going home. No need to worry. Promise we're safe. So, what do you say? Nothing. I think we're good. Yeah. Sorry, what were you saying? Ah, nothing. <laughs> Just, you know, this year's been crazy. Oh, that reminds me. Can I ask you a crazy question? Yeah, shoot, man. Lately, have you... Have you had any weird memories? Or anything like that? Hmm, weird memories. Like deja vu? Yeah, exactly like that. Well, I guess... I guess I get weird feelings sometimes. Sometimes prolonged, like something's gonna happen. But I don't know. Why do you ask anyway? Oh, it's nothing. Just... I've been reading about it online. And you're feeling the same too? I think so. It's probably just natural though. Hey. Don't overwork yourself, man. You should take breaks, okay? Yeah, 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 I know. I guess things have been a little hectic lately for me. I mean, I've been pretty... pretty busy. So I thought maybe I've just been tired. It's always those exams before the Christmas break, eh? Yeah. Yep, you know it. Enroll your kid now. Oh no, it's raining for the fireworks. Ah, uh, that it's always like that. Project of government bit. It always shows like okay, huh? It's like advertising for the government. It's so annoying. That was sudden. But what about the fireworks show? It should still go. They must be cancelling it. I'm, I'm pretty sure you could still light fireworks because it's mostly... Oh, wait. In the year 2000... So yeah, yeah, no. It was supposed to be perfect. I mean, it still kind of is. Oh, that's cute. You remembered. Of course I did. No umbrellas for you to steal over here. Huh? I'm a changed man. But your cookies! I'm sorry we couldn't find a dress for you. No worries. There are more important things. Are your parents coming home this Christmas? No. They'll probably send over some Christmas money, though. They always do. But they're... they're doing alright. 
Dad sent me photos a while back. And Mom's out there. You know, busy as always. Your parents work really hard, huh? I wouldn't have a... a better life if it weren't for them. Yeah. That's good. And how's your family? Oh, you know... Same old, same old. <laughs> I don't see them often, do I? That's alright. They like to be busy, too. Besides, you know they're not really people... persons. Yeah. <laughs> oh! For it's only I who can engage with society. Listen, I know you've been pretty busy. We both have, but... You know, you've still got me. We've got each other. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry Piano's been taking up so much of my time. Don't apologize, man. Just promise me you'll get really good at it, okay? That's what I want. Believe me, I'm trying. Kath is such a good friend. You must even be busy practicing at home every night. Practice makes perfect, after all. And man, does it feel so rewarding. You know? I couldn't get the proper hand posture at first. Uh-huh. But when I got the hang of it, my playing just magically got better. It almost feels like cheating. That sounds fun. That must have felt... How that must have felt. You know, like, Kath is, like, so invested in him as a friend, and he does not invest the same amount of care to her, and it upsets me. It upsets me. It is fun. It's so satisfying. Kath, you deserve better. I, I had a lot of fun today, Mark. Me too, Kath. And I promise, I'll have more time after audition day. You're gonna blow everyone away. Huh, probably except for Carlo. I'll be cheering you on in the audience. Just don't bring pom-poms. Or at least don't if Carlos is there. Carlos there. I'm really glad I get to see you like this, you know. Like what? Happy. Catherine, there you are. You were supposed to be home hours ago. Kath? It's all right. It's just my brother. Thank you for your help, Mark. Hey, that's not... But I thought you wouldn't... It's cool, it's cool. I'll see you, okay? Like hell you will. How many times do I have to tell you? Let's go now. Jeez, Mark, I... Oh man, I regret telling her brother then. We we're just gonna watch the fireworks together. Wait. You forgot your cookie cutter. What the hell? Her brother didn't even let her watch the fireworks with me. That's rude. I said we were gonna go home right after. Hey, Louise, something came up. Come on, type faster, man. Have you talked to anyone recently? I was with Kath today. Did he ask about it? A, a little. She said she's been having some deja vu. I like that he corrected it to include the proper... But I'll, I'm not sure if it's exactly the same. I knew it. It doesn't matter if it's exactly the same in this case. Either way, this brings us a step closer to my working hypothesis. Who's next? <laughs> 